EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to historic Baltimore, Maryland and m and Bank Stadium. There's a scene a short time ago. The Ravens introduced to this sellout crowd and through a sea of pyrotechnics, out they came from the tunnel. We're set to go as the Ravens get ready to match up with the Los Angeles Chargers. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. Start by running the option to the right. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. by Derwin James. You know, it's not just all athleticism from defensive linemen. Let's give them a little credit for their football intelligence as well. Read and react by them, understood the play call, and stacked it up and stuffed the run. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. They'll run for the first time with J.K. Dobbins. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and 10. Well, that was not what you would call straight line pursuit for a middle linebacker to make this play. He's got to work his way through the clutter to get to the ball carrier on the outside. And he does exactly that. That's called avoiding the trash. On third down, Jackson, and a throw there going to be incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. It is one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. So on fourth down, here's Sam Cook to punt it away. Here's Hill on the return. A 41-yard punt, nine on the return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at the 40. They'll run for the first time with Austin Eckler. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. The ball carrier. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. On second down, here's Herbert. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by the pro bowler, Marcus Peters. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. The Ravens take over. After the interception, here's Jackson. Forced out to his left. And now he's going to use his legs. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40-yard line. First carry now for Gus Edwards. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. It's a first down on a gain of 10. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. From the gun, it's Jackson. It's brought in here by Willie Sneed. 
And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. At the Chargers' 25-yard line. Jackson with a handoff to Dobbins on the option. And he'll be close to a first down at the Chargers' 19-yard line. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. complete. A gain of six there on first. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Jackson from the shotgun. This will be caught at about the six. And the Ravens are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. Here's Jackson to throw to the goal line, but it's incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. To throw again is Jackson. And he's going to go down, sacked back at the 13-yard line. The former number three pick, Joey Bosa, bringing the lumber that time. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football, had to eat it, and ended up on the ground. Interested to see what they dial up here. Third and goal with a lot of green between them and the end zone. From the gun, Jackson out to his left. He may try, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. A 13-yard touchdown run as his guys are first onto the scoreboard here this afternoon. Well, this defense, so many things to worry about in the red zone area, but you'd have to almost think that Lamar Jackson running the football, that might be number one. It should be number one, and in this portion of the field where things shrink a little bit, because the receivers can't run past getting run because they'll run out of real estate. You should have all eyes on Lamar Jackson when the ball is snapped and try and keep him back in the pocket. Yeah, I don't think that they were surprised he was running it there. They just couldn't stop him, and he ends up in the end zone. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this carries into the end zone. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Hunter Henry brings it in. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. First down, Chargers. They're going to go toss right side with Eckler. 
And nothing doing. He's immediately down at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. No gain on the play. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Out of the gun, Herbert. Flush to his right. He's got the first down and more past midfield. And finally taken down at the 44-yard line. Herbert able to show his wheels as he gets the first. As a rookie quarterback, that's exactly how you endear yourself to your teammates. Give it up for the cause. It's also how you end up on the training table, too. Yeah, it's a catch-22. Coach doesn't like it. Teammates love it. Where do you fall on it? Well, I fall on wanting to endear yourself to your teammates, but pick your spots. Be smart about it. They need you for the full season. Yeah, the rookie's going to learn as he goes. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Chargers. A shotgun snap for Herbert. And this is caught, first catch for Keenan Allen. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. Los Angeles. I feel you, dog. I feel you. First down, it's Herbert. Allen's got it over the middle. Herbert. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Eight yards. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. So that's now four completions in a row, a good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of eight. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Again, Herbert. And right side, Henry's got it. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. That'll go as a loss of five. And that'll make it third and goal. But that wasn't exactly a work of art, was it? No, that wasn't a thing of beauty. This is why I don't play in points per reception fantasy league. Is that, is that what they call Receiver PPR? still gets a point there. Yeah. No. And you went that far back. No bueno. But I'll tell you what. I wish I had their defense on, uh, on my fantasy game. And it's caught. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So on fourth down, on comes the Charger kicker, Michael Badgley. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. Badgley able to knock this one through, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11 play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three, or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone, get you six?
change, baby, time to move the change. Yeah. converted to field goal now he handles the kickoff duties taken in at the three and down he goes just shy of the 25 now a penalty marker is down let's see what that's about well, that holding call set him up with not great field position not at all when you tack on the penalty but that field position after the return wasn't terrific it's not a great starting field position as well so the hold on special teams backs him up all the way inside the 15 to start. Now Jackson on first down. And Bryant's got it over the middle. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. got a yard out of that last completion and that makes this second and nine operating from the gun Jackson and he's taken down back at his own seven and the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Here's Sam Cook now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. So a change of possession here on the punt, and that will come the offense as they take over. The Chargers getting set to go. Less than 30 seconds to go in the half. Pretty good starting field position, all things considered. You'd think they definitely have time to get into field goal range. Yes, and you get into the huddle or you come off the bench here and you've called multiple plays because you're going to say, this is how we're going to run them in order, guys. You don't have time for audibles. You don't have time to change anything. You're trying to get the ball in position to at least get three. They've got a great shot to do it right here. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. L.A. set to take over again on offense. And this is a spot late in the clock near midfield, though. Maybe take a couple chances, see if you get in field goal range. You do that if you have trust. And this should be a position now where the great ones, they relish this opportunity to try to put points on the board. Here's Herbert now on second down. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. Intended for Austin Eckler. It's third down and one yard to go. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. from the shotgun. Here's Herbert. He's going to sling this deep. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And all the way in for a Charger touchdown. A big play there in the final seconds of the first half. And the Chargers have taken the lead. He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part was easy. You could see that throughout his college career. But what you want to know about a rookie is when the pressure's on, can you throw with touch? He just did right there. And boy, it was pretty. Extra point by Badgley up and good. And the lead is now 10 to 7.
Time Maybe time for one play on offense. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. Fielded right around the eight. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and ten. Final play of the half here, it's Jackson. And incomplete on the deep ball. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Taken in at the three. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. Running on first down, Eckler. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. From the 50, here's Herbert. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. A play fake and now Herbert to throw. And he's got a man open. That's Allen. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Here's second and nine. Just a yard on that last run. Play action. It's Herbert. And this is complete. It's Allen. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Keenan Allen, 36 yards. And the Chargers find a way to stretch their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab. Jab, jab, and finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead.
Time long. Set to long kick now off. will kick it away following the touchdown. This taken in about four yards deep. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. The Ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. They trail by 10, 17-7 as they come up on a first and 10. From the gun. Jackson, Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. The sack by big number 98, Linval Joseph. And they weren't in zone coverage, they were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a defensive player of the year at the other, and they just locked people down. Jackson, he's gonna keep it himself. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. And if you like defensive football, focus on the defensive end on this play. He does everything exactly right. Reads the play and makes sure he spills it for a small gain. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Jackson. They set up the screen for Dobbins. And he's going to come up a bit short. He needed to get to the 35 for the first, but he only makes it to the 34. It's a pickup of 13, but they're still a bit short, and it'll be fourth down. Here's Sam Cook now as he's on to punt for Baltimore. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. L.A. readies for its next possession. And they've got the lead here getting late into the third quarter. And the passing game for them, it's been terrific. We've seen that. But the rushing game, almost non-existent. And with the lead and trying to finish this game off, they need the running game to come back to life. They need to get sparked that way. Take some time off the clock and keep the ball away from their opponents. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. How about the job there on the outside? Shed the wide receiver and was able to make the tackle on the perimeter. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Operating from the gun, Herbert. Eluding the pressure right. Got some room at the 30. And he'll take this all the way up to the 38-yard line. That one good for 21 yards. And the Chargers are going to get themselves a fresh set of downs here. So well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter. Picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. And he stopped immediately there. Down. No gain on the play there. Second down. He has just been completely taken out of this game. We're in the fourth quarter. He's single digits in the rushing department. And I know we look at him because the numbers do go to his production. But how about the guys blocking for him? They don't just have his number as a ball carrier. They've got the number of the offensive line and the other guys because they're getting to him before he can get started. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A gain of 13, it's a first down. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. And he's got this down to the 35. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it at them. We've got them now. Toward the sideline, that's taken in by Allen. 
They'll contain him to just four. Second down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. On second down, here's Herbert. He dumps it to Eckler underneath. Call it a gain of five, and that'll bring up a third and one. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he gets this down to the 18, good enough for a first down. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Hasn't been his best afternoon on the ground, far from it, but a critical third down conversion. His afternoon just got better. All right, you're exactly right. Hasn't been his best in terms of yardage, but that run there, that's the one your teammates look to you and go, okay. That's what we want from you. That's what we need. Now they have a chance to keep moving forward and a chance to win the game. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. On the ground, it's Eckler. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. It's Eckler again. And a short pickup there down to about the nine. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. You can really tell right now both sides have amped up the aggressiveness. That time the offense winning the aggression battle. And the defense was obviously aiming for the football, maybe a little bit more so than the runner himself. And that's why he was able to break through and get the gain that he did. Kelly, third and goal. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. Call it a gain of five, but still a decent ways from the end zone now on fourth and goal. This is a long drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Doesn't it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on and there's certain drives that seem to take on just a bit more importance than others? This feels like one of those, doesn't it? To me, three points here, a major letdown. This is the time to go and put six on the board. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close.
Time. Long converted the field goal. Now he handles the kickoff duties. This one fielded at the five. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. They can't do much at this point, partner. This one is going to go down in the loss column. You don't make up for what has happened during the game in this sequence here. Maybe you hand it off and let someone run the ball if you, if you so choose. But otherwise, just kneel down, call it a day, and try and prepare going forward. On first and 10, it's Jackson. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Incomplete. And we're down to eight seconds now. He was looking for his tight end, Mark Andrews, there. But it'll be second down. Hayward on the coverage. So now they'll come up on second and ten, once again from the 28. To throw again, Jackson. He's going to let it fly. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Casey Hayward. Intercepted by the Chargers. They'll take over first and 10 at their own 29-yard line. Herbert to a knee, and that should just about write it into this one. So this one's over. It's in the win column for the L.A. Chargers. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second-half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. From Baltimore, so long, everybody.